All right, we have five marks here on the required practical for enzymes. So we've got a method which is slightly different to the normal one we're used to in this topic. So a scientist prepared amylase solution at optimum pH and they mix the amylase with starch in a boiling tube. So think about what's going to happen here. Amylase, remember, is the enzyme that breaks down starch into sugars. Step three, they measured the concentration of sugar every 10 seconds for two minutes. So the way we're usually taught this required practical is we don't measure the sugar, we measure the starch. We use iodine solution and the point at which starch stops being present, we say that the amylase has broken it down. This is the other way around. We're measuring how much sugar is present. So once the amylase starts working on the starch, sugar starts getting produced. So it'll start off very low. You'll start off with no sugar because it's all starch. And then as the starch gets broken down, the level of sugar will increase. So that's what's shown in this graph here. We start off with zero and then it increases up with a curve. It eventually plateaus at the end here. How much time did it take for the amylase to digest all the starch? That's the first question. So to find that out, you want the point at which the graph becomes flat because at that point, there's no more increase in sugar. So that means you've had your maximum amount of sugar being produced from the starch. All of the starch has been broken down, so there's no more to be given. So that would be around this point here. So you'd need to read that off. I would try and use a ruler make sure you read it off draw a line and if you read that carefully that's around 82 seconds it's just one square to the right of the 80 10 squares is 20 so that means one square is two so that's 82 seconds next part says determine the rate of sugar production per minute at 40 seconds okay so this is a tricky one let me rub all of this out first because to find the rate what you need to do is find the concentration over time rate is how fast is the reaction happening so if you have a graph of concentration against time to find how fast this reaction is happening you need to find how steep the line is the steeper the line is the faster the rate this comes up in chemistry as well in a rate of reaction graph the steeper the line the faster the rate that's why right at the end it goes flat because the reaction has stopped Right at the beginning, the reaction is very fast because it's very steep. We want to find out how steep is it at 40 seconds, it says in the question. 